Here on the Transparent FX Academy, every day I give you my best market breakdowns, showing you how you can be looking to analyze the market both from a technical and in order flow perspective to identify the best trading opportunities in the Forex market. So without further ado, let's jump straight to the charts and see which is today's Forex pair. In today's video, I want to speak about AUD USD. Now, why do I want to speak about AUD USD? Because at the moment, we do have quite interesting price action and structure. So, what I will be doing is, as usual, providing a complete multi time frame top down analysis, starting from the higher time frames, then going down on the lower ones. We will also check what we have from a COT perspective. So, commitment of traders, which is basically what hedge funds and the non-commercials in the market are doing. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move here on the pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that the market has just created this M pattern. Now, in general, after the creation of an M pattern, you want to see the market create a move to the upside. Specifically, you would like to see the market complete the pattern at the neckline, which is the previous support turned resistance. However, usually the reversal zone is actually the start of the pattern. So there is the possibility that before the market actually starts the move to the upside, there is definitely the possibility that we will first see more short term bearish price action to go and test the support before then seeing a rejection to the upside. Going down on the weekly time frame, what we can see is that the market has just created a strong impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. Now, in general, after an impulse and a correction, you want to see the market create more continuation to the downside, basically completing the impulse correction and impulse. Now, if you want to measure a correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse. And by doing that, we can see how at the moment the market is in between the 0.32 and 50% of the Fibonacci taken on this weekly impulse, which are a quite strong potential reversal zone to see the market create the continuation to the downside that we would like to see. Just a quick thing, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comments the topic for the next video that you will like. Going down on the daily time frame, what we can see is that first of all, the market has a just hit the first upside target of this overextended M pattern. In fact, we spoke about AUD USD when the market was at this level, and I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we expected the market to create a move to the upside from these levels. And by the way, I will link this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. So, also here on the daily, we have a nice impulse and correction. Also here, if we want to measure the correction, we have to take our Fibonacci from the high to the low, and we can see how currently we're testing exactly the 50%, which is definitely a potential re reversal zone. If we go and see what we have when it comes to the COT data, so what the big players in the market are doing, we can see how lately net positions have a, on the a, AUD dropped. In fact, we went from having a positive 3K net positioning with 57K longs and 54K shorts, all the way down to having a negative net positioning of minus 50K with 114K shorts and only 64K longs. So AUD USD as well is quite bearish. So how we will be approaching this potential short term shorting opportunity here with students now as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the four hour and the other intraday time frames. So with students, we will be monitoring price action from a four hour perspective and lower waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bullish market as we have right now to an intraday bearish market. And only if the market will shift from an intraday bullish to an intraday bearish market, only at that point we will be adding AUD USD to our watch list. 
And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside and for the market to provide and create a lower low. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education, and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies. Then you trade the strategies with me. Every day you get the new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies with the entry stops and take profits. And you can also ask questions and get the answer the same day with the Q&A session. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in my next video.